Hey guys, it's uh, Leif here from uh, ATAC Office Technology. Today I, I'm going to show you how to print uh, on the Konica Minolta Bisab uh, onto uh, different types of uh, paper. I've got some nice uh, thick uh, 250 GSM paper that I want to print uh, this double sided uh, flyer onto. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. This is a two sided uh, two page Word document. So I'm going to go into File and print. Select your printer, in this case uh, I'm printing on the Konica Minolta Bisab C754E but this is the same uh, it's the same uh, procedure on all all the new Konica Minolta uh, A3 MFPs. So the first thing I'm going to select uh, just uh, two-sided, that it's a double-sided print. Just confirm that and uh, auto color is on, so it'll print in color. I'm going to go to the basic tab. Uh, you can see it's already selected here with the bypass tray, but if it wasn't, I'll select uh, the bypass tray, which is where I'm going to put the, the, the glossy thick uh, paper. Select the paper settings for each tray and make sure that uh, the bypass tray is highlighted there and go into the paper type and select the paper type that you're going to print onto. In this case I'm going to select thick 3 here. Um, it doesn't actually say what the different uh, thicknesses are in this list but just to run through it with you. Uh, thick 1 uh, is 91 to 120 GSM. They all go on the GSM thickness uh, grading of the paper. Thick 1 Plus is for 121 to 157 GSM. Thick 2 is for 158 to 209 GSM. Thick 3 is 210 to 256 GSM. And the thickest one setting available, which is only from the bypass tray, is 257 to 300 GSM. In this case, I'm going to select Thick 3, which is the paper that I'm using, and hit OK. And OK. And I'm now ready to print that paper. Just keep in mind, I've done, I haven't done any preparation on the printer yet, so I'm going to send this print job. Click Print and now we're going to go to the printer and I'll show you the next step. Alright, now we're um, at the printer. So we've sent the print job uh, and uh, on the display here now uh, we've got a message where it says uh, please insert paper in bypass tray and it's asking for A4 paper size thick 3 which is what we set up uh, in the print driver. So I'm now going to put the paper into the bypass tray. And as soon as that's entered into the bypass tray, there's a button that says complete here, and that's now highlighted. It was grayed out before I put the paper in. So just press that complete button, and the print job will uh, start. Just a note on that, uh, if that complete button is grayed out, just remove the paper from the tray, insert it again, and it should uh, be uh, enabled or highlighted. And you can now see, so that's printed through beautifully on 250 GSM uh, paper. So that's how we do it.